Hey, welcome to the Backwoods Gourmet. Today we're going to make a Mountain Man breakfast for two. Y'all stay tuned. give you guys a little tip on uh, making your charcoal chimney work a little more efficiently and start your charcoals better. You know we use uh, our pieces of our uh, our uh, charcoal bags as as fuel to get our charcoal started but to help that out I've taken a paper towel and dip that or just pour it you can just pour a little bit of vegetable oil on it, uh, bacon grease, whatever you got uh, all natural. Just put that right on the top and then put it under your starter when you put that down, that paper is going to get lit, and then that ba that paper towel is going to burn like a candle in there because it's got that oil on it. But you need a little, you know, a little heat to get that going. That's why we put it on the top. So that one little bit of paper and that that uh, paper towel will start that up perfectly every time. It's getting hot. There you go. See now it's just ignited the oil and that's going to burn like a candle so that it'll actually burn longer and get your charcoals uh, lit more evenly and faster. But it's all natural. Never use petroleum products. Start your charcoal. So here's the things you're going to need. You're going to need some potatoes diced up. You're going to need some bacon. I'm using uh, jowl bacon. Love this stuff. Uh, some smoked sausage, some onions. You could use ham, whatever else you got. You could use thick cut bacon instead of this. And you're going to need a mixing bowl, some seasoning. And here, for the Mountain Man breakfast for two, we're just going to use the little number eight camp made. We haven't used that in a while. Uh, just don't want it. I, it's just me and, me and Mrs. Backwoods here. So this could be uh, for two or for one very hungry person. So we got all our ingredients here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and dump our potatoes, onions, it's about a quarter cup of onions. If you don't like onions, leave them out. Uh, I probably won't use all this sausage, but maybe, I don't know, about half that sausage. And we're going to go ahead and give that a good shake of seasoning. And the reason we're going to do that now is so we can mix it all up in there. You know, uh, once we put it in a Dutch oven, we're not really going to stir it. So if you don't have some seasoning on there to begin with, then you're just going to have to salt it on the plate, I guess. But anyway, just toss that all in the seasoning real good. Sorry about the shaking, guys. I'm going to bring over the little number eight. I'm going to line the bottom of it with our bacon. Just want to make sure you get almost complete coverage of the bottom with the bacon. Just a layer of it right in the bottom there. Alright, doesn't matter if they overlap a little. Um, dump everything on top of that. Spread it out a little bit. Time to get the lid on. We got a few more onions. Let's go ahead. I love these onions. And put some onions on top. Alrighty. Get our lid on. Time to go on some coals. Okay, since we're using a number eight, we've got five coals on the bottom. I don't want a ton of bottom heat. It's starting to burn down. We need a little more bottom heat. We can always put some in later. So let's go ahead and fill in the top. You know, a lot of people get kind of I guess stuck on this cold counting method. This is just a general idea, you know. I uh, I use pretty much a method is once I got a full ring of coals on the top, uh, that's the right amount. Now, obviously, if I want to go hotter, I'm gonna lay two more on each side right here, and we may do that later in this uh, in this cooking process. But for right now, just around the rim. So I get this question all the time, what was the cook time? Did I miss that? Uh, no, you probably didn't miss it. It's probably because I didn't give you one. And uh, I, I'm not doing that because uh, trying to be mean or trying to leave you in the dark. It's just because 
it's going to vary. It depends on the relative humidity, the weather, the temperature, uh, what kind of charcoal you're using. We use stubs charcoal, we, and now we've started using them. We're using it today, the Kingsford Long Burning, which is not bad for Dutch oven cooking. But if you're using Kingsford uh, Original, you're probably going to have to replace coals halfway through. So cook time is going to vary depending on what you're using. And that is just going to have to be something you'll have to learn through experience of working in your climate with the type of charcoal you're using. And it'll even vary from day to day. Um, so that's why I'm not giving you cook time. Okay, our uh, final ingredients, four beaten eggs. Right here I have some four state uh, mixture from uh, Sargento, four different kinds of cheddar cheese. Use whatever kind of cheese you like. Should it look like when it's done? Just like that. So time for the plate, let this rest just a few minutes, kind of solidify the cheese up. We may have to uh, use the spoon here, kind of cut that, that bacon at the bottom. It's going to come out of there in a nice big chunk like that. Here's some, some of the bacon from the bottom. Just use that kind of like a garnish, a bit of parsley. There. Mountain Man breakfast for two. And you don't have a lot of uh, leftovers. Let's go ahead and give this a taste. I actually could probably feed about three people. It's very rich, very, um, very tasty, and I'm sure it's going to be very filling.
So if you like what we're doing, please hit that like button right down there. If you'd like to subscribe to our channel, you can do it right here. To see our last video, it's right up there. And for a whole playlist, cast iron, Dutch oven cooking, that's right up there. We'll see you next time.